In the time we would have spent on this last workshop, we have instead invited some friends and colleagues to say a few words about Chris Marlowe. Chris Marlowe was one of the greatest minds of our generation, of any generation. She threw away more good ideas than I've ever had. So, we remember you, Chris Marlowe. And she was a good friend. I only met Chris a few months ago, but I feel blessed to have developed a friendship with her. There is no denying that her work was great, but we don't need to say it. Not here. Not to each other. Her work will show her genius. Her gifts will be plain to anyone who reads her from here to eternity. What they won't know 500 years from now is how funny she was, how audacious, how proud, bold, pleasant, and resolute she was how she could crush a beer can on her head and then change your life with her wisdom. True happiness consists not of the multitude of friends, but of the worth and choice. To those of us who considered Chris Marlowe a friend, we share the blessing of her worth and the honor of her choice. No one can take that from us. It was really beautiful, Ben. Thanks, Will. No, I mean it. When I die, I want you to write my eulogy. Can we have just one day that isn't about you? doesn't follow the form. Read it. I ask you to do one thing, and you don't. Why? Read it. Aloud. It's a poem. It's meant to be heard. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. 
and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometime declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. She told me not to compromise. <laughs> that sounds like her. For what it's worth, I took a lot out of this program. Oh, shut up. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> but you said... Oh, you failed this assignment. But as they say, C's get degrees. If you pull another stunt like this, I'm going to have you fitted for a dunce cap. Is that clear? As Crystal. Is life a comedy or a tragedy? That depends how it ends. And how does it end? You're either part of something or you're not. I'll see ya. See you soon.